What's up, how you doing? Here we are. Beautiful day, but it got a little bit windy now. A little bit. So I have a, a manual shifter. Hear that. I miss these things. And then reverses down here. I love uh, I love the uh, manual uh, stick shift. I don't like it in traffic. You know, I hate the clutch up and down with the left leg, but you know, you're out here in the desert or up in a mountain area, you love shifting gears. You got the first and you shift down a second, you got the third, a little bit fast, the fourth, and then you hit fifth. I wish they offered it still, they, you know, they've made their decision, a lot of people, they don't know how to drive that kind of stuff, so everything pretty much now is an automatic. My truck is an automatic. I wish they had a manual, I've, I would have gotten the manual, like a nice Jeep, 1971 Jeep, nice thing to have, put on some fat tires, but I want a five, I, I used to have a, a manual, 
I used to have a stick shift. Um, but, you know, it was a beat up car. I had a Mazda 626 1981. And I drove that until it basically, uh, until it basically died on me. And then I had a Toyota 1979, Toyota Corolla. That was a stick shift. And I enjoy driving. Shifting up and down, doing a little fast shifting, pick up uh, speed. And it's more fun, more fun to drive that way. So now I put this inside my, my truck and I pretend that I'm shifting gears. My mother has no idea how to, how to drive one of these. And uh, my mother puts the signal when she's bearing. So if she's bearing left, put the signal on. Bearing right, she puts the signal on. I sit there one time, I go, why are you putting the signal? She goes, because I'm turning right. I go, the road is turning to the right. It's, there's no intersection, there's no other road you're getting onto. You don't need to use a signal when you're bearing to the right or bearing to the left unnecessary so eventually she got it and she stopped doing that but if, if a car had this kind of thing in it you know shifting up then she would never be driving said to me one time what is the point of you know up and down up and down why don't you just hit more gas and I said cuz if you hit more gas and you're in first gear you're gonna hit a point where you're gonna redline you're just going to get the RPMs to go high. You're not going to get any more speed out of it. And eventually you're going to burn out your engine. So you go from like, you know, zero to, to 15, 20, and then you shift a second. Do another 10, 15, 20 miles, probably 20, and then you shift a third, then to four. You know, but yeah, my mother would never drive one of these, ever. It's breezy, but it's warm, and I'm uh, I'm very thirsty right now. I wish I had like a Gatorade or a Kool-Aid. In the 70s, you would yell Kool-Aid, and no matter where you were, the Kool-Aid guy would come through a brick wall. Not that popular. Anyway, I'm gonna put this back into my uh, my motor car, and I'm gonna start driving. Look at the the pleasure it gives you. It's so pleasing. You know? Downshift. You're doing 50, downshift. Downshift. You know? Then you want to accelerate, you go one, two, you end up in five in no time. No time. But I, I like to have a nicer, you know, a nice solid car that's a manual. You know, because the cars I had were kind of like, you know, Paid like eight hundred dollars for my my Mazda six two six when I was a kid, and I thought that was big money. I had twelve hundred dollars in the bank. That was like my entire savings, and I went and took it out to buy a car with that. And I was like, "This is big money." So I went and got it out, and uh, I said to the uh, lady at the bank, "I said, give me all of that and uh, traveler's checks, American Express traveler's checks." I thought everybody was trying to rob me. It's big money I'm carrying. So I, I went home and uh, the next day I was going to go look for a car. My father was going to come with me because he knew the people there. And he said, how much money are you bringing? And I said, I'm bringing 1200 And I said, I got it in traveler's checks. And he said, why'd you do that for? And I said, I want to get robbed. It's a lot of money. He's like, it's like nobody's going to rob you for that. He's like, plus we're all together. Who's going to rob you? I mean, it's possible. But uh, when I ended up getting the car, I got it for 800 and I gave my traveler's checks to the people and I could see them when they were filling out the information on the traveler's checks. Every few seconds they would glance at me with a look. They were like, you know, they would give me a look for giving them. They were very annoyed. And I thought it was the normal thing to do. I didn't know everybody carried that kind of money. You know, I thought that was, that was like my entire, everything I had in one pocket. 
you know, and I thought people would sense that I had this and they would come and try and take it. So I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give them the opportunity for that. So I ended up getting it in American Express Traveler Checks. I saw the commercials. They would recommend you go with those. But my father thought that was ridiculous. And from this point of view now, I also feel that that was ridiculous, but 